Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and this is not in fact my Animal Crossing Island, but I thought today we would go through and look at 12 incredibly rare and unique themes. This was highly requested after my themes ideas video, so I figured I'd go ahead and see what I could find. These themes that I'm featuring I think are groundbreaking and incredibly, incredibly unique. So why not get started on the magnificent island of Atlantica? Here we have an under the sea theme and I think it is done so well. I mean, my jaw dropped pretty much every time I found a new area on the island. Here we have like a shipwreck, we have some treasure. All of the illuminated items are just so cool to see and I mean, it's really impressive that here on the Dream Address, even the weather helps to create this illusion that you are underwater. It feels like I'm walking through a coral reef. It's just so beautiful. In addition to things like shipwrecks that we see, there's also an underwater palace. I mean, look at this, it's amazing. I can imagine a powerful mermaid queen living here. We have like a yacht that's been, you know, wrecked. Maybe it's a submarine, who knows? And then I also stumbled across this pirate ship that is currently being manned by Zucker. Also love that Zucker is here on this underwater island since he is indeed an underwater being. Before we go any further, I do want to thank today's sponsor. That is Disney Emoji Blitz. You can go ahead and download the game using my link in the description on your mobile device or tablet. Disney Emoji Blitz is very unique in the Match 3 market because there's so much strategy involved. Every emoji that you can use has a different sort of power up. If you've been here for a while, you know my favorite is Tinkerbell, but experiment around, play around with them. Once you unlock different emojis, there are so many different power ups to learn and appreciate, and they change the way the game is played. I don't know about you, but I am a big fan of collecting things as well, so that can also make the game fun since there are so many different emojis to collect from Disney to Pixar to Star Wars. They're all so fun. Another cool little feature is that once you've earned an emoji in the game, you can actually send it to your friends when you're texting. Remember to download the game with my link. This also acts as a creator code, so you'll be supporting my channel in the process. Thank you for that. Thank you again to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. Coming in as our second unique theme of the day, can you guess what this is? It is the house from Goldilocks, the three bears house. This island is inspired by fairy tales and I can't express how cute all of the little details on the island were from Goldilocks's house to the little, the candy house that I think Hansel and Gretel, is that, is that their names? Anyway, yes, you know, the witch with the candy coaxes the children in and eats them. I thought it was so cute, all the details here, like the little candy leading up to the house. Oh my gosh, that was so genius and so precious. I also came across other fairy tales as I was going, like Rapunzel. I love that we have a Tangled-esque dress here, one of my favorite movies, but I thought this was so cute, using the silo as the tower and hiding it in the woods. Also, I went in one of the other houses and this was such a nice fairy tale interior, just so cute. I also came across Alice in Wonderland here, and I was really curious about this little pipe here in the ground, wondered where it would lead, and it took me to, as you might have expected, the little the table that the Mad Hatter sat at. So we're gonna jump over there in just a second, but all of these details were so well thought out. I thought everything was arranged so well and on top of the fairy tale illusions that were everywhere, I also thought that the terraforming on this island was absolutely stunning. If you visit yourself, I'm sure you'll find even more fairy tale illusions that I might have missed, but the ones I did see were absolutely adorable. I mean, look at this, the goose with the golden eggs. Precious, and it's the beanstalk, ah, oh, cute. 
Number three is a whole rainbow island, and I do mean the whole island. Everything was just so colorful, and it was really interesting to walk around just to see all of this furniture that I might not use, but that fits in really well here when you're trying to represent all the colors. I loved that in the neighborhood area, the houses were arranged by colors and their yards matched the color schemes. So clever and well done. I just thought that I don't know, everything about this island felt so unique from the pathways to the furniture to just everything. It was so cute. And look at this entrance, it's so grand. I love the use of Mario items on this island actually because they fit in really well. They add to that sort of whimsical feeling we see throughout this island. Also, I really enjoyed that the beaches too were super colorful and it was just such a nice island to walk through. Highly recommend. There were also very natural parts like this, and I just thought that there was a nice balance struck here between like city and natural vibes, and the rainbow theme is carried throughout. Look how grand this is. Just amazing. I took a wrong turn and ended up in Animal Crossing Canada, but eventually I did make it to our number four, I believe, island here on Maya Canyon or Mia Canyon. This is such a beautiful island. I was consistently shocked by how many termite mounds there were on this island. They must have taken so long to gather. Like even if you're just ordering 40 at a time from Nookazon, there are so many here. It was incredible. I also love how the creator managed to fit in these really gorgeous builds in between the different, you know, like natural landscaping features. We have these weeds and flowers here making a sort of meadow. It felt like a lush desert if such a thing exists. I also loved this little campsite because look at it. Look how cute this is. The arrangement of the furniture here is perfect. I just, uh, I really appreciated all these builds. The views here are amazing as well. The winding water features, the cliff terraforming, it was all so well done. You might recognize the content of this next island if you are either a musical buff or if you, like me, spend too much time on TikTok where some of the six musical soundtrack songs soundtracks anyway they've become trendy on tiktok in the past that is how i'm familiar with the musical really sorry to people who are like genuinely cultured anyway i think it was so cute that you could pick up your program and your ticket here at the stalls and it was so precious to me the details here from the generator to the little camera the costumes that were set up and all of the lights were amazing i thought it really added to you know that that cool feeling you get when you go to a theater such a nice area. Up next, I wanted to feature this island because the entire island is built to be a sort of adventure, like a quest. The creator posted a map in my Discord server if you'd like to join and see the order in which you should embark on your epic quest. But I just thought everything was so cool. I mean, even if you go to the island not realizing what it is. Also here, am I a sacrifice or am I a witch? Could go either way. I thought this was so cool though. This is one of the stops on the quest that you go on throughout the island. I was also blown away by some of the views here, like this one that you're about to see. I love the illusion using cypress plants and pretending they are trees to kind of make yourself feel more elevated. And it's done really well here, I think. The house in the distance is so dramatic too. Also walking around, I found like a dragon zone. There's so much to discover here, and I thought it was so cool that the creator took the time to sort of set up an adventure for people who want to visit. On top of that, again, we just have brilliant terraforming and decor. Can't, can't lose. After that, I visited this unique theme. We are all familiar, I think, with the separate themes of Overgrown and Kid Core, but this creator put them together and I think the result is incredible. It also has a kind of industrial slash city feel, which I really appreciated. The mashup of themes is so cool and the colors on this island were some of the most vivid I've encountered in Animal Crossing, from the custom designs to just the in-game furniture pieces used. Everything looked so vibrant. I also really appreciated the different builds here. All of them had 
really nice views, I think. And I was so tempted to just keep walking around this island forever. The pastels mixed with so many primary colors, it just turned out to be gorgeous. This boardwalk was one of my favorite areas. The view below is just incredible. Watch as I cross this bridge. It's so pretty. All the flowers were so cool and I didn't even realize this at first, but this little pond below is like a froggy face. Tell me that's not adorable. This little campsite was also one of my favorites. I feel like we've seen a lot of campsites today. If I'm not mistaken, this is island number eight in our video today, and I don't even know where to begin describing it, but this creator is very talented. They have so many islands where they have focused on, you know, a specific color, a specific vibe, and created an entire incredible island. This one is a red themed island, but it also is kind of a Japanese themed city as well. I really enjoyed walking around here. All of the red hues were so cool and I like that there are some shades of pink incorporated as well since the two colors are very similar. Everything felt so grand here and all of the builds were so structured, which I really appreciated. I've also never seen a path used like this gold trimmed red carpet. So, you know, proof that this is an incredibly unique island. Everything worked perfectly together. All of the terraforming was lovely. We have great views, great furniture setups, and it was just a pleasure to run around and see everything this island had to offer. Another island where the weather really enhanced and confirmed the theme was this one. This is a goblin core themed island. I've never seen anyone else do goblin core, so I was really excited to walk around here. I love the terraforming. The builds here were so well done, and look at this little owl peeking up in the forest. There were lots of mushroom items. It felt like a positive kind of goblin core, you know, like a, a fun goblin perhaps. There were so many colors, it was such a vivid island here as well, and all the builds felt so, I don't know, mysterious I guess? Like, I, I kind of felt like I was in the world of Spiderwick. Are those goblins? I can't remember. Also, I found this cave, so of course I had to disappear into it. What a cool build. Moving right along into Spooky Town, here we have a Halloween themed island, a spooky island. I adored this one. I love that the dream address is set at night, but there are so many illuminated items. It's like a festive kind of spooky, if you know what I mean. I was just enchanted by the colors used, the different new spooky items. I love that this creator is using ones that were introduced in the most recent Animal Crossing update. Also, check out this carousel. I was, uh, I was enchanted by this. The use of the little arches, genius, absolutely genius. Also, I appreciated that the villagers matched the island. Like we just saw Muffy, I believe her name is, and she definitely has that goth spooky vibe going on. But look at all these lights. It's such a nice island to walk through and I don't know about you all, but it makes me feel very excited for the upcoming spooky season. It's not too early to celebrate Halloween. I mean, we're in August, which is practically September, which is practically October. I was also very blessed to find another island that has a super unique take on a theme that you're probably familiar with. This island is Abandoned Elegant Core, so it has so many aspects of Elegant Core that you probably know and love. I for one really respect Elegant Core Islands, I think they are exactly that, incredibly elegant and very beautiful. This one really took that a step further by making it an abandoned island. It has just a gorgeous vibe all around. The terraforming is amazing. The centerpieces that this creator used are absolutely stunning. I was, I feel like my jaw had just dropped the entire time I was walking around here because it's just so stunning. I love the pathing that's used, all of the hedges, everything worked out perfectly here on this island and I can't wait for it to be complete. Getting back into some seasonal energy, here I am on a very Christmassy island. 
This is based on the Netflix film Klaus. I have not seen the film yet. I feel like I would probably have so much more to say if I had because the details on this island were incredible. The creator was explaining to me different things on the island that, you know, replicated spaces in the film and the film itself is also super impressive. It has 2D animation that somehow manages to look 3D. Definitely recommend watching the trailer at least if you haven't heard of it, but I was stunned by all the builds on this island. Look at all of these very cute setups. Also, the area behind this kind of cracked me up. I'm not sure what it's alluding to, but there's a toilet back behind this little room and you can use gift wrap as toilet paper. Get into that holiday spirit as you're using the bathroom. Also, this area too is super cute. It's like, I don't know, it kind of felt like a little, a little, maybe a home for kids or something and the reindeer has landed on top. Just precious just precious. I hope you all enjoyed these super rare, super unique themes. I hope you're feeling inspired to try something new on your island, or at the very least, I hope you're entertained and impressed with the just such talented creators that we saw in the video today. Thank you to all of the creators who contributed. Please check them out in the description. You can also find their dream addresses there and Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.